low out there. Hey, Love 52, we're starting our 15th week here at Love 52. And hopefully yesterday, if you celebrated Valentine's Day, I hope you had a good time. Whether, you know, you were recognizing the Valentine in your life or Valentine's, if, you know, maybe like me. I've got my wife and my daughter, my son, you know, and, and we just kind of recognized each other. And so whatever you did, I hope you had a good time. And leading up to Valentine's, we've been focusing on loving ourselves so that we can love others authentically, sincerely, genuinely, right? That's what this has been about. And so this week, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to focus on how to love others. So, you know, one day, probably tomorrow. Oh, the ducks. Can you hear them? Oh, you saw a couple. Um, what we're doing this week is how do one day we're going to talk about how do we love what does that look like to love genuinely and authentically whether your wife your husband your significant other your your spouse your boyfriend girlfriend whatever whatever you call each other uh, you know how what does it look like to love them authentically and genuinely not not driven by lust, not driven by infatuation or, or hoping for reciprocation, just what does it look like? And so we'll spend a day talking about loving our significant other, the romantic individual in our life. And what does it look like maybe if you have children or, or maybe you have grandchildren or it's extended family, does it look the same? Well, it's the same four ingredients, right, Idea, Same four ingredients. How does that look? What can we do? And so we'll talk about this that this week, and, and we'll do some of this. And then we'll talk about, what about loving our friends? Does it look different? Same four ingredients. How does that look? What can we do? What if friends live far away? How do we love others? In that case, friends or or maybe you call them brothers. I got some guys that they're my brothers, you know? And then how do we love people at work? How do we spread love at work? Maybe you don't want to think about, maybe you don't want to think about loving the people at work. Okay, how can you spread love at work? We're going to talk about that. And then what about acquaintances? You know, are there opportunities to spread love? Whether it be at you know, grocery stores or I would say bookstores, but you can't really hang out there. You know, some of you go to church, maybe how do you spread love? Or maybe you go to meetings of some sort, you know, social meetings or, or meetings where you get help from other people, whatever it might be. How do we spread love to people who are more acquaintances versus friends? How do we do that? Well, we're talk we will be talking about that. And then of course, how do we love people that we have opposing opinion? Maybe you think of them as enemies. You know, there is talk out there, it's, you know, about loving your enemy. Well, what does that look like? How do you do that? How do you apply the same four ingredients to people you can't stand, that you don't like? You know, maybe it's, maybe it's people that they just have such strong or opposing thoughts and opinions and beliefs than you and you know maybe maybe we judge them so how do we love how do we spread love how do we share love with people who we oppose or maybe that we see as enemies how do we do that well we're gonna be talking about that because this is all about spreading love that's the only reason that we get together that's the only reason love 52 exists it's about spreading love and so that's what we'll be doing this week you know we'll start with loving those people who are immediately present who are like top priority in our life they're up there you know that would be my wife maybe that would be i don't know your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend your lover whatever whatever you use whatever title and we're gonna focus on that now, if you want to jump ahead, go ahead, figure it out today or start figuring out today those four ingredients, how to apply ITEA, you know, go ahead. I mean, I'm going to do it, but we will talk about that and focus on that tomorrow. So if you want to 
continue loving yourself because I, I really hope that throughout this as we are loving others this week my hope is is that you continue to love yourself every day that I, I genuinely want that for you so we make it makes us better lovers to others so work on it spread love say hi to the ducks you know and I'll talk to you probably tomorrow take care bye